Welcome everyone to another Subnautica tip video. Today, we're going to be doing a follow-up to my previous video about the bioreactor fuel stats. There are 14 fish total in the game that can be cooked or cured. In that previous bioreactor fuel video, I did not test these fish in their cooked and cured forms since even the wiki did not list any information about the power values for these. I assumed there was a reason behind that, but many people have asked since that video was posted if I would go ahead and test these. Instead of testing all 14 fish, I chose instead to test just a handful first to see if there was anything interesting about the results. So here you can see the 5 fish I selected to test with as well as their raw power values. Now below you can see the altered power values achieved from cooking and curing. While it may make them more nutritional, the cooking and curing also makes them less effective for power production. Adding to the fact that you must consume power to cook or cure them, you can see that it is a much less effective method. I tried to find a formula for calculating these different power values, but as you can see both the gari fish and peeper have the same raw power value but differing cooked and cured values. I suspected that there might be a correspondence between the cooked and cured food values and the power values for these fish, but that didn't fit considering the raw power value is identical between the gari fish and peeper, whereas the raw food value is not. It is my assumption then that the developers simply statically assigned the power values for cooked and cured variations of the 14 fish, rather than using a formula. So there you have it. Plain and simple, cooking and curing fish is better for food production rather than using them for power. A second thing that many people have commented asking about since posting that video is why not use sea treader feces. I did include sea treader feces in the spreadsheets that I made available for download, but to clarify, a single piece of sea treader feces provides 300 power using 4 inventory slots. This breaks it down to 75 power per single inventory slot. So if you are looking for a good fuel source for your bioreactor, sea trader feces falls into the lower range of power values. So for example, if you wish to use sea trader feces to fill up your bioreactor, you will be able to place 4 pieces in there, giving you a total of 1200 power. I am sticking by my preference of using fish, such as the Reginald, to fill up the bioreactor instead, and sticking with the example, it would take 16 Reginalds to fill up a bioreactor, ultimately providing you 7,840 power. With it being so easy to farm plants and raise fish in an alien containment, I cannot agree to sea treader feces being a good fuel source considering it is only available in one section of the map. However, if you like using sea treader feces, go ahead. I am simply stating based on the number values and of course the ease of access that there are many other options that are much better than the sea treader feces. So the last thing I'm going to mention about the bioreactor fuel video comes to us from viewer Brandon Cook. He made the point that creature eggs are in fact farmable because the creatures that hatch from eggs will produce more eggs when placed in an alien containment or of course if you just happen to trap two creatures in a makeshift cage. In my past experience playing the game I had never seen any creatures in the alien containment produce eggs so I had to test this. And I stand corrected. I tested using two rabbit rays in an alien containment and saw them produce additional rabbit ray eggs. In my past play experience, I have never seen this, probably because I do not bother checking my alien containment on a regular basis. So this confirms technically I was incorrect in my statement about eggs not being farmable. However, to farm eggs, you will have to pay more attention to what is going on in your alien containment or in your makeshift cage. It is also important to note that some creature eggs produce less power per inventory slot than the creatures themselves and vice versa. So before you put in the extra effort to start farming eggs, you may want to make sure the eggs produce more power than the hatched fish. Beyond that, I still feel that gari fish, peepers, and the other smaller fish are better fuel sources than farming eggs or farming sea treader feces. Think about it, placing two peeper in an alien containment and walking away only to come back later and find 10 of them in there 
is a lot easier than having to walk away and come back a few minutes later looking for eggs. Well, I hope that clarifies things for those of you who had these questions in regards to that previous video. And of course, if you have other questions, I'll be glad to try and answer them as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's anything else you think that might be missing from the other video or you just have a quick question and you would like an answer, maybe help you out a bit on the power values. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.